introduce you to a little toddler who was battling an aggressive form of cancer. Maya White's parents adopted her from China, knowing the outlook was grim. But WLKY's Christina Mora joins us now with how Maya is beating the odds one year later. Christina? She certainly is. This was Maya White back when we first met her a year ago. She was in the middle of an uphill battle against cancer. Her prognosis was not good, but today her family calls her a miracle. Who's to say what's impossible will be forgot? When we met Maya White last year, she had just finished intensive chemo and radiation, and she was preparing for two 10 hour surgeries. It was a last ditch effort to remove her soft tissue cancer. <laughs> Today, Maya is on the move. She looks a lot different now, and her prognosis isn't what doctors anticipated. One year later, she's kind of beat the odds. We feel like God has provided a, a miracle and that she has been able to enjoy one year of pain free, cancer free life. Every day was a gift, and we embraced that. And every three months, she has scans, and every three months, the scans have turned up with no cancer. Maya had rhabdomyosarcoma. The cancer was in her pelvis and in some of her organs. Doctors said the surgery wasn't ideal and they expected the cancer to return. But so far, she's beating the odds. She loves the snow. She loves Play Doh and crayons and Mickey Mouse. She's, she's just a happy. Normal little girl that loves to play and be active. She's very active. <laughs> Watching her do something normal, like slide down a slide or, you know, throw even a temper tantrum, brings tears to our eyes because it's a sign of normalcy. Yay! Good job. Maya's nurses at Coast Air Children's Hospital are more like family members. She'll get another scan Monday to check on two small spots on her lungs. Her family's new mantra. Every day is a gift. Mommy. Oh, hold you, mommy. Oh. Love you, honey. Love you, mommy. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> Maya lived in an orphanage in China when her cancer was discovered. The White family saw her on an adoption website about two years ago. They brought her home to Louisville knowing she would need aggressive treatment for her cancer. Christina Mora, WLKY News.